Professor Coco. I just saw a fly sitting on a mosquito and using it like a taxi. Taxi ride? That must be a bot fly, Momo. It was not just riding, but doing one of the strangest tricks. Strangest trick? What's the trick, Professor Coco? Let me explain. It's time to Coco Dive. Bot flies are small insects found in Central and South America. The female bot fly uses one of the strangest and creepiest survival tricks in the insect world. You see, she doesn't lay her eggs on humans directly. Instead, she uses a clever shortcut called foracy, which means hitching a ride. The bot fly carefully sticks her eggs onto other insects, most commonly mosquitoes or ticks, turning them into completely unaware delivery drivers. Now, here's where things get tricky. When that mosquito lands on a human, the warmth of the skin sends a signal to the eggs. The eggs hatch almost instantly. Tiny larvae crawl out, wriggle into a hair follicle or a microscopic crack in the skin and quietly slip beneath the surface without the person even noticing. Once inside, the larva settles in and creates a small breathing hole in the skin called a warble pore. It looks like a tiny crater on the skin's surface. Through this opening, the larva breathes and sometimes even pokes out the tip of its tail to release waste. But the botfly larva has another sneaky trick. It releases special chemicals that slightly numb the area and reduce the body's immune reaction, helping it stay hidden for weeks. Over the next five to 10 weeks, the larva feeds on fluids from the surrounding skin, growing bigger and rounder day by day. Its body is covered with tiny backward-facing hooks. These hooks anchor it firmly in place, which is why it doesn't crawl around. Still, as it grows, the person may feel swelling, itching, or occasional sharp twinges of pain. It's usually not dangerous, but if the area becomes infected, medical care is important. And eventually, the free-loading larva reaches its final stage. When it's fully grown, it slowly pushes its way out through the same hole in the skin, drops to the ground, and burrows into the soil. There, it transforms into a pupa. After a few weeks, a brand new adult botfly emerges, ready to fly, reproduce, and start the strange life cycle all over again. The good news? <laughs> Removing a botfly larva is usually simple. A doctor can safely extract it, either by gently pulling it out or by blocking the air hole, forcing the larva to come up on its own. Once it's gone, the skin heals quickly and often returns to normal with little to no scarring. Nature is amazing, but sometimes it's also a little creepy. So today you got to know about the botflies. See you in the next video with another adventure. Coco out!